Welcome to Anomaly Stacks. This tutorial will walk you through the Anomaly Stacks installation and configuration process. Installing Anomaly Stacks is quick and easy. To get started, simply import the OVA file to the system on which you want to install Anomaly Stacks. At this point, you should ensure that your VM meets the minimum specifications. Two CPUs, 4GB of memory, and 40GB minimum disk space. You'll also want to ensure you configure your network to connect to the internet. When you power on your VM, installation will begin. When installation is complete, you will see this message indicating that all services are running. Take note of the URL you will use to access Anomaly Stacks. When you connect to the URL for the first time, you'll step through a short configuration wizard that enables you to add an initial taxi service so you can start receiving Styx taxi data on Anomaly Stacks. You can use the Anomaly Limo service, a free out-of-the-box taxi service provided by Anomaly, or add a taxi service of your choice. When you select Anomaly Limo as your initial taxi service, Anomaly Stacks connects to the Limo service and automatically discovers and configures all available taxi feeds. Data is immediately available in Anomaly Stacks when you complete the wizard. Selecting Anomaly Limo is the fastest way to get started with threat intelligence on Anomaly Stacks. Additional taxi services can be added after setup. When you exit the wizard, a What's New pop-up lists the latest and greatest Anomaly Stacks features. It also includes the End User License Agreement. Once you accept this agreement, Anomaly Stacks is ready for use. Here on the dashboard, you can see that data from the Anomaly Limo service is already available in Anomaly Stacks. Now let's take a quick look at how to add an additional taxi service. We'll use Hala Taxi as an example. To get started, click the Settings gear in the upper right corner and then click Add Site. We'll first enter a description for the taxi service, and then the discovery URL. Next, we'll take care of authentication for the service. Hala Taxi uses basic authentication, and we'll need to enter the default username and password. Now that we've added the site, we can click View to discover the available feeds on the site. Feed discovery can take a few minutes. Now let's click Edit for one of the feeds and configure it to pull data into Anomaly Stacks. We'll accept the default settings and then click Configure Feed. We're now up and running on Anomaly Stacks with data from two different taxi sources.